Well, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I have been loading the truck with luggage and stuff. And <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> it's a hot morning. My hair's not even dry from my shower this morning. And I need another shower because I'm like a sweaty mess. Look at this mess. <laughs> but we are uh, most of the way packed and uh, almost ready to hit the road in the morning. And uh, doggies are relaxing. One of our golden retrievers, Teddy, has like anxiety issues and you'll get to see that over the next 21 days. And uh, Teddy has a blanket that we call his binky. He must have it with him at all times. It stinks, it's going in the wash in a minute, but right now he's like lying on it. Let me show you. Teddy. Teddy. Hi. Do you have your bink? Hi, Logan. Hi, precious angel. Hello, hello. Hi, Teddy. Where's your binky? Ted, where's your bink? Okay. So now that you've been introduced to the binky and to both dogs. This is our very long lived goldfish. His name is Ugly because when we got him, he was actually orange and white and he was ugly. But now he's like, four years old and really pretty sizable. He's outlived all the other goldfish. We think he might be blind in one eye. And he turned completely white, which I think is very pretty. So ugly, you're an ugly duckling that turned into a beautiful swan. And here is our hermit crab, Riley. She's hiding right now because I just made her mad. Um, She's sitting in her food bowl. There you go. We are leaving somebody home to check up on our pets and make sure that they have water and food and everything and um, that they're all good. But oh, here comes Riley. Hi, Riley. Now, I know that hermit crabs are uh, very social animals, but we have had a number of hermit crabs, as many as five or six at a time, and Apparently Riley isn't very social because she kills them all. <laughs> so after about five years, we've decided that Riley likes to live alone and she seems pretty happy about that. So there's Riley. Creepy thing. Teddy, come here. Come here, Teddy. Teddy, come here. No, I gotta do that. Yeah, come here. Good boy. That Not a bad. very good job, but we need all that water out. Yeah. No, you're being such a good boy. Did you have a good bath? Did you enjoy that? Not really. What about you, Mr. Baby? Is that fun? Is that fun? Hi, Teddy. 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 Don't eat that. Come here. Teddy, come. Teddy. Teddy, come. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Hi. Where's Logan? Logan? <laughs> what are you doing? Teddy, are you okay? <laughs> are you traumatized by your bath? Teddy? Are you biting your blanket? Are you biting it? You're really biting on that thing, huh? Oh my goodness. You had a hard day. You had such a hard day. Yeah, I know. I know. It's hard out here for a pup. Okay, well, I have a bunch of tomatoes that were not gonna last while we were away on vacation. 
So I'm gonna make a quick tomato soup with it. Here I've got about six cups of chopped fresh tomato and I'm gonna use about three cans of chicken broth. This is a 14 and a half ounce size, so let me just pour that in the pot. I also have some cherry tomatoes already in there um, that I had as well. So here go my chopped tomatoes in. I'm gonna chop up a few other ingredients here as well. Four cloves of garlic, just smash them. This soup is actually going to uh, be going through a food mill, uh, so I don't really have to be very careful about chopping. I'm gonna grab maybe four of these Cipollini onions. They have a very delicate flavor, but it's a nice little light onion note. Okay, that can go in my compost. And then I'm going to throw in probably about a handful of basil. About that much basil. All right, so that's what we've got so far. I'm going to salt this generously and then do some black pepper, which I need my hand for. I also have a secret ingredient in tomato soup and it is cloves. So let me find my cloves and throw those in there too. I prefer whole cloves, but since I don't have any, I'm gonna use ground and just put a light sprinkle, maybe, I don't know, quarter teaspoon into this size soup. And a little bit of dried oregano and that's what it looks like. Now let's give this a stir. And we're gonna simmer this for probably about 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll check it and see how we're doing. Okay, so we have been about 30 minutes cooking and uh, this smells so good. I kind of think I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. I'm gonna give it like 10 or 15 more minutes just right, to simmer. So now my soup has um, cooked <laughs> and thickened. I'm gonna throw this into a food mill, which is gonna help me get these solids out and get it really nice and smooth. And the food mill also really helps to extract the most flavor from those tomatoes. And as you see, it turns into a nice kind of um, nicely textured soup. Okay, it's a little hard to see on camera, but we're about at peanut butter color now. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of the soup in to sort of temper that roux. There's no specific amount that you should add. shy of two tablespoons and then here comes the rest of the soup back into the pot buzzing, buzzing. is that good We had to load the second kayak in the dark, but that's okay. We'll see you guys in the morning.